Hi everyone, Scorp here, uh, back with another deck profile. Um, today um, I'm doing a reptile deck. Um, this is basically just for... Here's a deck that completely slaughters insects um, because of the leader power, destroy specific enemy. Um, that affects insects, so um, because reptiles are good at eating insects. So we have a really, really strong deck against insects. Um, so we'll go ahead and start against Weevil. Um, I'll go through uh, the cards that are in the deck um, after this duel. Just to, I just wanted to show off. Um, this is uh, probably what I'd take. Uh, this is a deck that probably would see play as like a B tier deck. Um, entirely because insects would be so strong um, at the very least you could use reptiles as like an anti-meta deck for a deck leader see boom Um, of course, the Megamorphs uh, that are in this deck can be replaced with Ryokus if you would like to. Um, yeah, uh, this is not going to be a very fair nor competitive duel. Doesn't matter what he plays, it just gets destroyed. Um, I shouldn't have done that card. Um, not like it matters, uh, this deck literally can't lose to insects. Um, I mean, this is the purpose of burning land, right? To destroy a forest. Um, so burning lands in this deck, because if you guys aren't familiar with reptiles, uh, they're basically the only type in the game that doesn't have benefit from a single field in the game. Um, there are a couple of them, uh, like, or there's one of them called Toon Alligator, um, that benefits from Toon. Uh, but that's not a very, that's not the world's best card, so, uh, and you can't really make a Toon strategy around one card. So, first off, let's go through the deck, um, now that you've seen a little bit of how it works, um, especially against insects, where you can just destroy them. Um, I believe the spellbind is something like aqua creatures or something. Um, it's been a long time since I played reptiles. Um, so, um, I just went with the level 5 or higher reptile. Um, See. 
what number are these? 450s? Um, so if you wanted to go down to Sinister Serpent, you get direct damage halved. Um, I think McCallion has it too. Um, I don't find direct damage halved that great, um, but definitely if you were using this as an anti-meta style deck, you'd probably use McCallion as your leader. I um, mean, you probably wouldn't be playing many, if any, reptiles, but uh, the deck would just be... The deck leader would be there just to make insects have a really bad day. Um, so first up, Temple of Skulls, uh, just to hate on a little bit of spell cards. Um, three green kappas, three RA armors. Um, we're gonna have troubles actually making big threats in reptiles, um, unless we do a bunch of setups, so these give us a bunch of time to do that setup. Um, and can outright just kill your opponent, so really good cards. Um, next up, Armored Lizards times three. They're just some of the best you can get for four stars for reptiles. Um, Serpent Marauders, um, Ancient Lizard Warriors. We're, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for this deck. Um, three Serpentine Princesses. Basically, we're just playing... Here's the kind of acceptable reptiles. Um, and nothing else. And hoping that's enough. Uh, next up, Ancient Tree of Enlightenment. Uh, this is great for dealing with traps, since we probably aren't, we aren't running very many traps in this deck, um, and it's nice to be able to out all of them. Uh, Burning Land, uh, it's nice for um, just destroying terrain. Um, if you don't want to deal with some terrain that's super unfavorable for you, sometimes one of those is nice. Um, Soul of the Pure, uh, as well as uh, Dark Piercing Light, um, Darkness Approaches for uh, the Serpentine Princesses. These gain 900 points when flipped. Um, and then Sebex Blessings, these power up reptiles. Um, raise Body Heats, your only equip um, that works on all of these. Uh, I'm not using all just waters or all just earths, so I can't use Pyre of Kaishin. Um, these could easily be changed to your Ruryoku's or these Curse Breakers can. Um, really just keeping the um, deck cost down. Um, you can change these into something that says destroy an enemy. Um, you have a lot of options here. There's a whole bunch of cards that... Um, there's about six or so cards here that can just be whatever you want them to be. Um, so next up, let's just go and show off uh, actually winning against um, another Reptile deck, just to show that um, we've made a deck that's stronger. Um, we're not going to need that this game. Um, this is the kind of deck that likes to do a lot of setup, go kind of pretty slow. Um, Darkness Approach is a pretty good card to play right there. Two equips. Um, we'll try to get Curse Breaker to deal with that card that he just double equipped. Um, Sebek's Blessing is not going to be very useful in this matchup. Um, I'm playing a whole bunch of like spells and traps, or a bunch of spells. 
Um, the main reason for that is so that I um, can get enough summoning power in this deck. Um, there's a whole bunch of cards that require a bunch of summoning power. Um, I don't need this in the stool, I don't think. Um, we're also not going to need Serpent Broader at this duel, so we'll get rid of those. Well, there goes all of his equips. Um, the main linchpin around this deck is drawing Serpentine Princess, and we haven't done that yet. Um, we don't need that this duel. I'm just going to do this, this, this. Okay, so this is a reptile. Um, my only concern is if it's Serpentine Princess. It's just an Emperor of Land and Sea. I'd really like to draw my Serpentine Princess. Um, great time for Dark Piercing Light. We can really see what we're dealing with. Um, and this only works on your own, and it only works when it's flipped face up, so uh, Dark Piercing Light did a, does a great job against it. Just do this. Get rid of the paralyzing potion. Once I destroy these creatures, he'll have literally nothing left. There will be pretty much not a single thing that he can do um, against me anymore. Um, I kind of made a mistake there, but it's okay. Green Cap is great for just copying um, your strongest creature and making a second really large beat stick. Um, I don't know what he's going to do with this Paralyzing Potion, but whatever he chooses to do with it's not going to really matter. Um, I'm going to end this computer's career. Um, 
by playing this card. Um, it's no longer going to understand that my creatures are really, fit really big. And unfortunately for it, not understanding that my creatures are really big is a bad, bad thing. See, when you um, get the ability um, to set up on this deck, uh, you get to really make some strong stuff. Um, unfortunately for the computer, uh, it'll almost always let you set up. Um, it's really what... about the only thing it's good for is letting you set up. Um, but just in the course of getting over to him. I've made some like 8,000 attack beat sticks here. I didn't draw my Serpentine Princesses early. Um, if I weren't trying to keep the deck cost down um, for these initial duels, um, I would definitely um, change the Uh, I would change um, the Curse Breakers, at least two of them, into Darkness Approaches uh, for more Serpentine Princess synergy. Um, now that we've done that, let's go do Mako, but we should have the ability to put in a little bit more deck costs, so I'm going to go ahead and take out two of those and actually put in the Darkness Approaches. Just so you guys can see a little bit stronger version of the deck. Um, it's not going to make it that much stronger because um, you still have to draw the combo. Um, and you still have to execute it. And it really doesn't uh, matter that much. Um, well, that'll get rid of his Shadow Spell and Tears of the Mermaid. Um, double equipping a creature is generally a good idea. Um, unfortunately for him, he double equipped an amoeba. Um, and I stun all of his, uh, waters. So he can do pretty much nothing. Yeah, this is a, this is a fair and balanced, um, thing to do to Mako. Um, the plus 900 from Serpent Nine Princess is a huge stat bonus. Why did he move that in front of... Um, we'll just play one of these since we're gonna flip both of these this turn. Yeah, super easy way to win. Um, and now I'll uh, put the deck to 
pretty much closer to full strength um, with Ryoku's. Um, just to show how strong you can actually make reptiles, although I would say that the strength is no longer coming from just reptiles, but um, you guys can probably have seen from that last duel there. Uh, you get to do a whole bunch of uh, your uh, serpentine princesses are just amazingly strong. Uh, let's see here. We'll just take out these three megamorphs. You know, there's an easy way to find this. It's just at the bottom. Um, now, with that addition, we can probably just go over here. Um, probably rather take on Zara the Mant. Not because he's easier, um, but because he has just really, he's, it's less annoying to deal with Crush. Ooh, I'm gonna start with Ancient Tree. It's a good start, a really good start. Tremendous Fire Me, nope, okay. Um, we'll get rid of all of his traps, too. Uh, we'll play eye armor because it's less summoning power. guys can't hear my Discord notifications anymore. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Terrifying. It's a shame my creature is stronger. We're uh, really playing with some firepower here. Uh, we'll just do this. Oh, guess we won't. We'll just get rid of that. It should actually be dead because it can't respawn in the summoning area. 
And now we just get to enjoy the fact that he can't play traps or spells. So I don't have to play around change of heart. I don't have to deal with like two thirds of the problems in this deck. just have this start killing stuff. I really need my spells though. Unfortunately his spells are just super good too. Is one of the tremendous fires. Uh, there goes Samachi. No way he does that unless it's actually like a spell or trap, right? Uh, that's a monster. almost amazed that that was a monster. Um, we're getting rid of this. Um, the green cap is going to go through and just clean house. If this is a monster, it's game. Okay. I was just gonna have uh, Green Kappa go through all of his cards one by one, but a 6,000 attack creature works too. Hitting into a 3,000 attack one. But yeah, um, this isn't really um, reptiles being that strong, it's just they have decent leader powers and Uh, they have decent leader powers, uh, and Serpentine Princess is really strong. Um, otherwise, they're just kind of meh, so. That, that's, um, that's just how reptiles work in this game. Um, there's not many types left, so. Let's see what else I can figure out for some decks that I'd like to play, um, but. If you guys want to play something that completely counters insects, um, and you really hate insects, this might be the deck for you. So um, 
I, I figured I had to show it just because, um, like, if there were ever to be PvP in this game, uh, this would be... You would use reptiles as a leader uh, just for that fact. So thanks everybody for watching and have a nice day.